I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be, she has a boyfriend? Well, walk away. Here's how you handle situations. Like I've got an email here from a guy who sounds like he's in school, college, I guess, I assume. And he hears that a particular girl that he goes to school with likes him and wants to meet him. And I guess he hears this from a couple of different sources. And so he initially reaches out to her on Twitter, and she either doesn't see it or she just ignores him. And so then he talks to her the next time he sees her on campus. And can you imagine walking up to a girl, and this happened to me when I was younger because I heard shit like this, and that's why you always got to kind of take things with a grain of salt when you hear a word on the street that so-and-so likes you or so-and-so is interested in you or so-and-so has a boyfriend or whatever it happens to be or she's no longer with her boyfriend and then you go up there thinking that it's reality and then you find out not and so he goes up to this girl expecting that she's going to be happy he came over because she wanted to meet him and so he goes over to meet her and she's ah, i got a boyfriend so he's totally looking like a douchebag and so he wants to know the proper way to handle it and so she'll get in contact with him if it doesn't work out in the future because the way he initially approaches it, it's kind of kind of like a train wreck what what he does and so he says hi coach there's this girl at my school i was told she had been following me around and that she told one of my classmates she would like to talk to me so a week later we see each other at school now here's what i would have done when i hear that so and so likes you i say really well, you know what? You should tell her to come over and say hello to me or come talk to me next time she sees me because I, you know, I heard she's a nice girl. I'd be happy to talk to her. I'd, I'd you know, like to talk to her and just leave it at that because the guy who is successful with women already and has plenty of dates and already has a very active social life is not going to look at rumors like that and, and think they're that big a deal. But, hey, if it's potentially true because this person is relaying to you, then you just – Say, hey, tell her to come over and talk to me. Tell her to give me a call or whatever it happens to be. Tell her to get in touch with me. Give her my number. Have her call me. Just say it like that because if it's true, then your number will find its way back to her or the message will get back to her and she'll come approach you and talk to you. And so if it's true, she will. And if it's not and it's bullshit, then you don't have to worry about it. You didn't put yourself out there. You didn't risk anything. But in this particular one, you hear something like that. It's like, wow, a girl likes me. Let me go after her. And it turns out the information sucked. So he says, so after a week later, we see each other at school, but she didn't come over. So I added her on Twitter. Then I sent her a message. Hi, how are you doing? Question mark. I waited a week, but she didn't reply. And I would say that was just weak behavior. If you see the girl and you've heard that she likes you and you're looking and you're trying to notice if she's checking you out or seeing you, go over and talk to her. Or ignore it completely and just think that the information was bullshit. That's why I say the best way is just to tell whoever's saying all this crap. Because you know, when you're at school, when you're younger, sometimes people fuck with you. I mean, my, my, I know my friends did. I remember one time I was in middle school, as a matter of fact. This was a really long time ago. I had this girl that I had this crush on. I just fucking loved. thought she was the best thing since sliced bread. But she had a boyfriend, and we were friends. We had a couple classes together, and so she was good friends with my, one of my buddies, and we used to sit together at lunch a lot of times. And I remember one time he, he – I didn't know this at the time, but we're – so we're sitting there at lunch, and she's looking at me, giving this look as if she really likes me, and she's interested. I'm like, what are you, why are you staring at me that way? What's, what's going on? And, and so my buddy and I are riding home, and, and his bike had a flat tire or whatever. So he rode my bike, and I sat on my handlebars because he was a lot bigger than I was. And so we were, <clears throat> we were riding home, and I said, well, what's up with so-and-so today? Why was she staring at me as if she had a crush on me or something? And he laughed, you know, because I'm, I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, hey, does this girl like me or something? What the hell? Because I was totally in love with her, but she had a boyfriend. And so we're riding along, and he's laughing, and he says, yeah, he says, I was just fucking with you. He says, I, I said, stare, stare at Corey like you have a crush on him. And so she did it for a while, and then, and then, he, and then he, I, don't, I never knew if he was serious or not because it just crushed me that he said this. But he says, after, after a while, she says, I, I, when he, he says, keep looking, looking at him. And she goes, I can't bear to look at him anymore. And he tells me this, and so I'm 
you know, I didn't say anything. I didn't react. I didn't react to it either way. I, you know, he laughed, so I didn't know if he was fucking with me or he was being serious. And but either way, I was kind of fucking devastated. I felt like a douchebag because I had a crush on this girl. And so it was. That's like I said. You're in school. It's like you never know. I was like you know, my friends are always practical jokers, and so even in, even when we were in college, they would they'd say, "Oh, go talk to so and so. She's got the hots for you." I just talked to her, and she wants you to go over and say hello. And you go over and say, "Hey, my friend said to come over." And I look at you like who? And he'd never talked to the girl. And you know, I had friends that would fuck with me that way because I was so shy. They figured it forced me to talk to girls, and you know, and I just would flame out because I didn't know what the hell I was doing back then. So he says, so yesterday at school I went over and asked, is, is she Roberta? And she said, yeah. Then I told her, I sent her a message on Twitter and was expecting some reply, but that she didn't. And she said that she didn't normally come on Twitter. And then I said, okay, I have to go now. You mind giving me your number so that I can call you one day to say hi. And to my surprise, she tells me that she has a boyfriend. Then I told her I just wanted to get to know her. And she said she needs to think about it, which means no. And let's see. Well, what I would have said to her is when she says, I got a boyfriend, I just, then you just nonchalantly just say, hey, well, hey, if it doesn't work out, shoot me a text or give me a call so we can chat sometimes. You know, some friends of mine told me you were a really nice girl and that you wanted to meet me, so I came over to, to talk to you. And you just say it like that. And if she likes you or she has interest, she'll go, sure. And she'll pull out her phone and, phone and go, what's your number? And if she doesn't really have any interest or she's not interested in doing that, she'll just say, you say, sure. Like, I'm gonna, but she'll never pull out her phone and ask you for what your number is. So in that way, you offer your phone number in a low-risk way that allows her to, if things are kind of on the outs or potentially on the outs with her boyfriend, she'll take out the phone number and, 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 or she'll take out her phone and get your number. And then she says, he says to her, she says she needs to think about it, which means no, but she will send me a message on Twitter. Then I said, what if I give her mine? And she said, it's the same, but she needs to think about it. And I would say the translation is, no, I don't want your phone number, is what she's really saying to you. Then I said, I'm not sure, or maybe she's just really loyal to her boyfriend. She's a good girl. Then I said, I'm not sure I will be coming to classes the whole next week. And she asked why. And then I told her I'll be traveling with my friends to London. Then she said she will let me know when I come back. And I would say more than likely, you'll probably never hear from her. And she'll probably never get back to you. But if you do, either way, great. Give her your phone number and let her contact you. Because you should never, when, when a chick tells you she's got a boyfriend, you should respect that and, and walk away from it. And, and but you can always just say, hey, if it doesn't work out, give me a call or shoot me a text. Let me know. I'd love to chat with you. You seem like a nice girl. And if the girl is with a guy and she doesn't know if it's going to work out and she's at the point where she's taking backup offers or backup opportunities, and she'll take your number. And if it doesn't work out, she'll shoot, to, shoot you a text. She won't call you or text you to ask you to, to do something. She'll just call, hey, we're just calling to say hello, see what you're doing, and you, and you should use that as an opportunity to either talk to her or arrange a time where you can get together and meet for a drink and chat some more. So if you find this message of value, you can show your appreciation by going down to the Wibia toolbar, which is at the bottom of your screen if you're watching this video on my website, and click the PayPal Donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information in this video. At the very least, please share this page with all your friends and family by clicking any one of the social network sharing buttons, which are also located in the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen. And if you have a question that you want to ask me or there's a topic you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, click the Contact Me tab on the left-hand side of your screen and send me one or two paragraphs max detailing your questions, your situation, or your challenges. And you just got to give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the Internet and I also get a lot of it from my paying phone coaching customers. But be patient. I will get back to you. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session by clicking the Products tab at the top of your screen and just follow the instructions. And I will talk to you soon.